Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to make a background glitch effect easy and quick in After Effects. Since we are going to make a glitch effect only in a background, first of all we will need to isolate the car. Let's duplicate our clip and rename it to car only. Now select a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Let's rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is finished, we can close rotoscoping window and then create a new adjustment layer. Move that adjustment layer below car only layer and let's rename it to glitch. On a glitch layer apply VR digital glitch effect. Expand distortion and bump up distortion rate to 70. Also slightly bump up color distortion as well, I think 88 is fine. Now make sure you are at the very beginning of your layer and then click on random seat stopwatch icon and then scroll to the very end of your layer and change random seat to 25. It will animate the glitch and will create a really cool and slow glitch effect. Now let's apply turbulent displace. Change displacement to vertical displacement. Change amount to 55. Change size to 20. Bump up complexity to 10 and then make sure to hold Alt on your keyboard and click on Evolution Stopwatch icon to open expression down here. Let's type in here, Time, Star icon and 300. That will animate a turbulent displace effect and also will add a smooth animation to our glitch. Now let's apply a VR Glow effect. Under a VR Glow, change Luma threshold to around 50. Let's check it. Looks fine, we are done with the effects, but let's animate the whole effect now. Make sure you are at the very beginning of a glitch layer and then press T on your keyboard. Click on opacity stopwatch icon and change it to 0%. Now scroll forward a bit and bump up opacity to 100%. Scroll forward again and change it back to 0%. Then go forward again and change it back to 100%. Do that steps till the end of your glitch layer. Once you are done, select all opacity keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine, just make sure to highlight whole curve here. Let's quickly check it. And that's it, we are done. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.